மதனகிரி மிந்த பலிய மர உட்ட பலிய மர As she toils in her small field in a remote corner of southern India Munikrishni is singing a local popular folk song praising a miracle maker deity These barren lands in India depend on the erratic monsoon rains for moisture and do not readily lend themselves to agriculture Some of India's poorest people live in the hamlets that dot the countryside. Here in Anchetti in southern India, farmers are trying to dig a well in an effort to provide water for this parched land. There was a time when poor farmers in Anchetti could still eat a nutritious meal based on diverse hardy small millets that grew here. The millets provided them with iron, vitamin B complex, calcium, fiber and could prevent diabetes as they had a low glycemic index. The other many, uh, good part of small millets is that they are adapted to wide range of uh, eco- agriculture ecosystems starting from coastal areas to Himalayas. So and kind of they can grow with limited rains. and they can they have the kind of ability to withstand long dry spells and heavy rainfalls so given the changing climate scenario it helps a lot in terms of actually maintaining food security but across south asia small millets once the traditional crop in marginal rain fed areas are fast disappearing from fields and food baskets but in spite of these advantages the area and the small millets drastically coming down across south asia i would say even in other countries in africa also it has become a kind of a crop grown in only limited geographic area take eastern ghats western ghats at certain specific niche areas and even there it has transformed from a food crop to a commercial crop people are growing for selling not for consumption so it doesn't contribute to the lo- local food security Meanwhile, decline in food diversity such as the nutritious small millets is being linked to high malnutrition across the region. A project under the Canadian government's International Development Research Centre is trying to bring small millets back to the food baskets in India, Nepal and Sri Lanka. Our idea is that we need to actually address the critical constraints through research. and we have allowed a uh, approach of uh, uh, t- taking the farmers in the center so for us farmers and the consumers are in the center and try to see from their own p- view point what are the critical constraints and how it can be addressed from the beginning we have kept women who are actually involved more than 70% of the activities taken by women in this uh, as, as a main kind of a cross cutting issue in all our interventions so uh, in, uh, to say uh, precisely our approach is farmer led research which is gender sensitive which is context specific the project has identified 70 local varieties and 22 varieties preferred by farmers and introduced small farm machinery such as threshers dehullers and plows to reduce drudgery farmers are also experimenting with growing chilies roses groundnuts and eggplants As for the millets they are slowly but surely regaining their rightful place in the kitchens and on menus Madara malli gaya bana to yari mere andonda sandonda mai kada mare chella dere malli gaya neralagi mahadeva